Quentin Tarantino is one of the greatest movie directors of all time, despite the fact that he only directed nine movies, including Pulp Fiction, Inglorious Bastards, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But his directing style is also quite notable, so these are six trademarks Quentin used in almost every single one of his movies. 6. The shots from underneath. The camera angle from underneath is something that's very common in a Tarantino movie. What I mean by that is something like this. Or this. Or this. The reason why Tarantino likes to shoot from a low angle is to show the character's dominance, strength, and power. 5. Food scenes. Food scenes can be seen in every single Tarantino movie, and there is a very important reason for that. The whole point of Tarantino's food scenes is that Quentin wants to establish the characters' roles and their personalities in the film. 4. Violence. Possibly the most controversial element is the violence Tarantino uses in every single one of his movies. Tarantino himself said that violence in real life can't be excused. But in a film, violence is a very cool element to use. 3. Fictional brands. The fictional brands thing has really become Tarantino's trademark. A great example for this is the Big Kahuna Burger, something that appeared in both Reservoir Dogs and in Pulp Fiction. 2. The Feet. Something I personally find the most ironic one, is that Tarantino somehow always gets a foot scene in his movies. And in this case, it's not even clear what Quentin's point was. He was probably inspired once again by a certain movie. Okay, sometimes there is a reason behind it, such as in Death Proof, when Mike McKay licks a Bethany Ross's feet. And lastly number one, the references. Tarantino has been pretty open about taking inspiration from other films, and putting them in his own. When we take Reservoir Dogs as an example, its narrative comes from the 1952 film Kansas City Confidential, its characters' color-based names come from the 1974 film The Taking of Pelham 123, and its ending looks a lot like the ending from the 1987 film, City on Fire. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget that you're amazing.